Hello everyone and welcome to this short video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Microsoft Fabric Copilot in the Microsoft Fabric Admin Portal. So let's get started. The Copilot is a very powerful generative artificial intelligence capabilities that helps organizations and businesses to create clean transform and analyze their data create amazing reports and obtain of course insight from those reports to make informed business decisions using the power of natural language processing and the co-pilot is actually not available in the free trial of microsoft fabric so it's not available it's basically available in the f64 sku and other IR skus and of course, it's really available in many of the experiences. For example, it is available in the Power BI service. And of course, it is accessible in what's called the Data Flow Gen 2, which is Power Query in the Data Factory. And of course, you can see the Data Factory solves the problem of data integration and ETL scenarios with cloud scale data movement and data transformation services. It's also available in other experiences such as the Synapse Data Science. Of course, it's available in the Fabric Notebook and the Real-Time Analytics. So without wasting much of our time, let's see how we can enable this for an entire organization. So basically, I'm going to come to this, the welcome page for Microsoft Fabric. So I can see Microsoft Fabric. Now, I'm just going to go to the settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, choose the settings. And of course, we have a lot of options here. We have the preferences, the resources and extension. And of course, we have the governance and insight. So it's actually under the admin portal here. So click on that. And of course, you're going to see the list of admin portal stuff. We have the tenant settings. We have the usage metrics, users, and so on and so forth. Now, it can be difficult to probably see where the co-pilot can be enabled. So what I'm going to recommend is to use the search box here to just search for co-pilot. So I'm just type in co-pilot and that's going to filter everything down to co-pilot and Azure Open AI service. So it's actually in the preview stage. So I can click on this drop down to expand. And of course, we can see users can use a preview of the co-pilot and other features powered by Azure Open AI. And of course, I can see where to enable the stuff. So it is currently disabled in my own personal tenant. So I'm going to turn it on and you can see it is enabled. And let's see this note here. If Azure Open AI is not available in your region, your data may need to be processed outside your tenant's geographic region, compliance boundary, or national cloud the instance. To allow data to be processed in a region where Azure Open AI is available, we have to turn on the related settings. Data sent to Azure Open AI can be processed outside your tenant's geographic region, compliance boundary, or national cloud instance. So I'm actually in the UK, so it's really available for me, not a problem. So this is where to apply to. Now you can apply to all the users across the organization. And you can even specify a security group that you may want to define in the new Microsoft Entra. Now we call it um, Azure Active Directory in the past, but it's now called Microsoft Entra. So when you have a new security groups already established you can actually click on this and then you specify the name of the security but we want to apply it to the entire organization within my tenant so once this is checked so we can go ahead and click apply so when i click apply i'm going to say do you agree to the azure open ai service preview terms of service so once you're happy just go ahead and click on accept and then you can see applying changes now this can actually take up to 15 minutes for the users within your organization to be able to access the co-pilots so i'm going to come to my data factory now data factory is one of the experiences in the microsoft fabric so this is my data factory and when you check at the top here for instance i can see the co-pilot so i'm actually using the free trial version so i can't actually you know tell co-pilot to do anything for now but i can see we have the functionality enabled all right and of course, I can type whatever I want. Let's say I have um, F64 SKU. That's going to work fine. But in this case, I do not have the subscription. So it's not going to work. But this is basically how to enable the co-pilot in the Microsoft admin portal in your organizations. 
I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.